Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Sunnyside Farms purified water in this huge one gallon milk container. Next up is Echo Water, all lowercase. And it's purified alkaline water with a pH level of nine. It's got a high pH level. And I don't have a lot to say about these, so I'm just gonna open them up and start drinking them. So here we go, with the Echo Water, is in like a smart water type of bottle and it's got the full-size lid and I, I, I got both of these from Lucky Grocery Store. I'm in a hotel in San Francisco. This store is about a mile away from me and I carried these both over here. Um, before I open this I want to also mention this. I also got this water from the Lucky Store. This is called Essence Water. I'm gonna review this very shortly in the future but look how like the bottles are completely identical. They're literally the same exact shape. They must be the same mold to make these bottles. And this is also a high pH water. So I'm, I'm just gonna review this later, but I just wanted to point that out. So here we go. Let's open this up. It's got the full size lid, the thick plastic, just like smart water. And uh, you need to have it turned for you actually to see the title. It's a good one. No, um, you know, no strong bad aftertaste. It's actually, it is, I was comparing the shape of it to Smart Water. It actually has a very similar taste to Smart Water also. No smell to it. It's always a good thing. <laughs> Here we go. Here's um, Sunnyside Farms. Sunnyside Farms was a dollar and nine cents. This one was $2.29, so you're paying more for the smaller bottle, but it's got a high pH, and this, this doesn't. This is just simple purified water. Like this, this is actually interesting. This water says for use with distilled stuff, but there was a separate bottle at the store that specifically said distilled water. So it's like, you can buy this if you need distilled water, or you can buy a different bottle from the same company that, that also is distilled. It was just kind of interesting. Uh, here we go. Mm. It's not bad. You know, normally with these bottles, you have a really, really strong like aftertaste of the milk container. It, it is slightly there with this one, but it's a lot more mild than, than it normally is. Yeah. It, it's, it's like, with this, the taste of this bottle, you don't taste it while it's going down. You taste it when it's done going down, and it's like an aftertaste sort of thing, where you taste the plastic of this type of uh, packaging, you know, this type of bottle. It says it's filtered with reverse osmosis. And so, the reason I'm comparing these two instead of these two, like it would really make more sense for me to do a video reviewing these two because they're so similar. It would be more interesting to compare these two. But I'm doing <laughs> these two because I've got a flight in the morning and I don't want to put this huge thing in my suitcase because I'm worried if it like gets squished, it's going to open up and squirt water all over the place. So the reason I'm doing these two is because I kind of know going in that this one is going to be eliminated between these two. And I'm not going to have to worry about taking this on the plane. And that's the case. Um, this one tastes better. So this one is moving on to the next round. This one is eliminated. It really does taste worse. Um, so I'm glad it does. So I don't have to worry about taking this on the plane tomorrow. Um, this is a nine pH. This is from Seal Beach, California. Uh, Lucky Grocery Store is sort of like a giant eagle 
um, I'm not even sure if it's a chain. I, like, I'm not even sure if there are multiple Lucky Grocery Stores or if this is the only one. Here, Lucky Grocery Store. So, congratulations, Echo. You're moving on to the next round. Thanks for watching, everyone.